What up, Broadway.com? Welcome to week eight of Two Girl for School. Week eight. It's the last episode. It's the last vlog. Um, yeah, guys, this might be it. I think it might be it. I mean, we'll probably still continue to do things for your own enjoyment. Um, but for right now, this is week eight. And it's the final countdown on this episode. You're gonna see war break out at the August Wilson Theater with Yanny, Yanny and Laurel. And um, what else? We had John Ellen Saxer make her principal debut on The Boy Way. And our listening party where we heard our cast album for the first time. It was really cool. You won't be able to hear the album in the background because we were just screaming over it, but it was really a fun evening. We went after the show, uh, our show last Thursday and we all walked over to Atlantic Records and listened to our album and there was grilled cheese and there were cupcakes with Tina's face on them. So like, what more could you want in life? Um, that's all I have to say. Yeah, that is all I have to say. Enjoy this episode. There's some other fun things sprinkled in there, of course, of backstage stuff, but that's week eight. Enjoy. Mwah. Yeah. There's no Laurel. It's How can I you hear Laurel? Laurel? It's Laurel. Okay, it's You're hearing Laurel? Laurel? Yes. I Wait, what? Laurel, Wait, you say it. Wait, can you, yeah. Where do you hear the Laurel? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, me. All right, say it with it. Yeah. yeah. Laurel. <laughs> <laughs> Laurel. No way. It's really low. <laughs> It's only saying yeah. What yammy. the f is wrong with me? Wait, Nothing no, but yeah. I heard you're Laurel. You're probably sick. Wait, wait. What is this house? I heard Laurel earlier when my sister sent it. Now you're hearing Yanny? Yeah. That's weird. I haven't heard that. Wait, it's something about he, is Yanny high in your voice register? So when I hear Laurel, it's really low. It's like Laurel. And what do you hear? Yeah, it sounds like yammy. a distorted, like yeah. Yanny. Wait, that is so weird because the Laurel is really low, so That's I don't hear the high we need version. More people to weigh in. I want to know who these Laurel people are. How many Yannies do we have here? What? How many what? Yannies. I'm a uh, Laurel. Laurel. No, I'm a Laurel. 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 Thank you. Yes. Laurel, Laurel, Laurel. Laurel. Here's the thing. Laurel is, is the echo. Laurel. And what is Yanny? Does Yanny sound high to you? Yes. Yes. See, Laurel. Wait, you hear both? No, no, I just hear Laurel. I, I only hear Laurel. But my roommate says hear. it sounds high. Ben, tell us the truth. Okay, I am a Laurel, full blown, hands down. And then he was playing, my roommate was playing with the pitches. Yeah. Manipulating it so you can hear something else. Yeah, I hear Laurel. 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 Also, Laurel. the moon landing is fake because you can see the shadows. Also, Laurel. JFK is still alive. <laughs> Kyle, before we do the show this evening, I really need to know if I can trust you on the stage. Do you hear Laurel or Yanny? Yanny. I, I cannot act with you tonight. I you are a monster. <laughs> Just get over it. <laughs> Beck is on tonight. Beck is on tonight. Well, la the freaking oh, dog. Like, right? okay. Beck is on. It smells like poop in here. Apparently my low Well, frequency. I wonder who that was. It was you. Me. <laughs> Collins, it's your birthday week. Can I interview you for a second? Yes. How do you feel? It's my first Broadway birthday. <gasps> it's really exciting. Oh my exciting. god, that's the first of many. Yes. Thank you so much. Happy birthday. Thank you. Do you have, how do you feel? Does 27 feel any different? Can I share your age? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> You're I'm like, 17. too late. Uh, <laughs> too late. I mean, you truly look unreal. What's your skin regimen? We know some Murad. Thank you, Gianni Yanelli. There you go. Oh, Gianni Yanelli knows Does it feel any up. different? Yeah. No. No. No, I'm, st I'm still feeling like a 17-year-old Lizzie Thurman. Where yeah. were you last year when you turned 26? Where was I last year when I turned 26? I was still in the city. I knew I had this coming up, but like... We hadn't started anything yet. Yeah, so you I was didn't like, know what it was. Living my best summer life. It and now like, it's here. And now it's real. And I'm here. I'm on Broadway. Happy <laughs> birthday, girly. Bye. Guys, what are we doing today? We can't show it, but can you tell us what we're doing? The Tony rehearsal. The Tony rehearsal. Because we're all going to be on the Tony. What are the Tony Awards? We're doing a number from here. Actually, right. you're nominated for one. Uh, <laughs> What's happening? This is our album listening party. <gasps> Oh, Tina in the house! <laughs> Wait, some band-aids. No, it's what, what do we got? We got some blisters? I borrowed some tennis shoes from SNL and I just immediately got blisters. <laughs> Even Tina Vegas blisters. We all got them. Oh. Hey, are you excited to hear your songs? Yeah, I'm nervous. Yeah, you nervous? <laughs> Shine. 
and look at that. Are you ready to go? <laughs> we are no, 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 no. totally ready. <laughs> Jonalyn, you got through act one. You didn't just get through. You freaking crushed it. I mean, like, not, like, unreal, unreal. How are you feeling as we head into act feeling two? Feeling good, feeling good. How are other studies? <laughs> Guys, Jonalyn nailed it. I'm not twitching as much. We're doing great. <laughs> you know, I didn't notice a single twitch. Yeah, now you get to enjoy. Is Karen the most fun? Yeah, she's did you, pretty good. Did you think it would be this fun, or have you been, like, too, like, hyper-focused to enjoy? A bit of both. It's definitely a lot of fun. It's yeah. just fun being in a different place. Yeah, we're having fun. Yeah. It's really fun having fresh energy. Guys, when when an undertaker goes on, it's very exciting because you know they're gonna nail it, but also they do stuff that's different that keeps you on your toes and makes it an even more enjoyable show. And we've had a long week, and I think we were all looking forward to to John Lynn being on tonight, right? Right. It's been like this cool, like revitalizing okay, thing. It's like so energizing wait, at the end of the week. Wait, right, wait, right. Let's go. Let's new go. energy. Let's go. Oh, we have to go. We have to go. Say goodbye, Camille. <laughs> Sign off. You got to start act two. How long have you worked at the August Wilson Theater? Oh, about 16, 17 years, close to 20. Oh my goodness. So you were here during all of Jersey Boys. Jersey Boys, the whole thing. Mm hmm Yeah. Were you here before Jersey Boys? Yeah, 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 yeah. What was here before Jersey Boys? I done, um... Flower uh, drum song, right, 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 uh -huh. right, and Little Shop of Horror <gasps> with Carrie Butler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you? Did we did Grandma Day, which is uh, oh my gosh. But we love the Mean Girls. We love the Mean Girls. Yeah. Guys, do you think Mean Girls will be here for a while? Yes, indeed. Looking yeah. forward to that. Yeah. And you're like, I mean, I think a lot of people who don't know what happens behind backstage at Broadway theaters. You're the gatekeeper. You keep us all safe. Absolutely. Yeah, you really do. You are the garter of this entire fortress that is the August Wilson. Yeah, I try to do the best, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Does with the get... actors, with you guys. You know, and I love it. I love what I do. You like what you do. Have fun with you guys. Yeah, we have fun with you. We like yeah, you a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Me too. Mm -hmm. I really do. Yeah. Do you guys mind being a part of Real Talk? I mean, <laughs> do you mind well, being a part of Real Talk? Well, Real Talk is just. Just stop being pretending. pretending so. I just want to know, like, what do you guys do to stay, like, mentally and physically well? Because this is, and, like, what's been the hardest part of learning how to do this show eight times a week? Why are you starting with me? <laughs> I, take, I take lots of vitamin C. Yeah. And that elderberry tea was something someone in the cast told me about, and it is, let me tell you, it's yeah. a lifesaver. Good stuff. Yeah. What do you do for, your, for yourself, Steph? This? Um, Creatively, I guess I I go take class and I try to like keep doing other things so that when I come back to the show I'm always excited to come back and do it because I've been right. doing other things in between. Because right. you know we've been doing it for what since last, technically last, last year. year. So yeah. um, you don't want it to get boring, so it's good to like take a break and yeah. do something else, and then when you come back to it at night, you're like, oh, I'm excited to do this again. Yeah. Yeah, lots of, that's a good like self care. Self, self care. care. Yeah, for your heart. What's been? Do you guys mind telling me? You know, like it's a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we have a lot of fun. But sometimes it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of fun. But sometimes uh, it's hard. What has there been like a week or a moment where it was kind of difficult? Honestly, this pa these yeah, past two weeks because we yeah. had. All the press events, Tony Awards, rehearsals, understudy rehearsals. We have three events. Understudies all going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's um. Going on. I think honestly, I did not think it was going to be harder than previews, but post opening night has been harder. Harder than, than previews. previews. Yeah. yeah. Like it's just insane. Oh, and also the week we did the album. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was, was a tough week. No, no day off. Day off. That was yeah. the week I taught that week. <laughs> yeah. Do you? What do you do? You know, sometimes guys, can we, can we be honest and can we say that there are some nights where doing the show is really really tough? Oh Absolutely. yeah. Some like two show days. Two show days. And so what like do you, how do you dig deep and what do you tap into so that you can give your best show every the night? The people around me. Yeah. A white wine, preferably. <laughs> <laughs> preferably a Pinot Grigio, but I will not chuck a Sauvignon Blanc out of bed. Yeah? What do you say, Ben Cook? <laughs> um, I mean, I would say, honestly, like, Ed, the show is so fun and it's so positive and everyone here is so wonderful that it, mm -hmm. kind of, it makes it easy, like, once we're in the environment, to kind of, like, yeah. build your energy. Um, once the train gets going. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, to, that's, like, what, like, everyone was saying. Like, it's hard. Like, it's not, you know, easy physically, mentally, ever, like, energetically taxing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or you see that adorable, like, teenage girl in the front who is like, this is her dream, and you're like, yeah. I'm doing the show for that girl who just won the lottery, yeah. and, like, these are yes. her dreams. Yes. Honestly, like, putting my, um, like, hands akimbo really is what helps me to get into the show. Akimbo? Akimbo. Akimbo. Oh. Yeah. Is that one of your words that? today? That's yeah! <laughs> Tell the folks at home, what's it mean, Tay? Okay. 
<laughs> An odd word with a specific meaning. Strictly speaking, uh, only the arms can be akimbo. It's a position they are in when you stand with the hands on hips, elbows sticking out away from the body. Stop, okay. can, like can everybody stand. show us what akimbo is? <laughs> akimbo! This has been Real Talk and Louderman Lingo. We just did a two for one, two for one. my friends, this is as much time I have off stage in Act 2. Bye! It's the littlest, blueiest couch, but I know you've okay. ever seen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one has changed every week. Anyway, this was sent to us from uh, at R-B-Y-N-A-S-H. Arby's? R-B-Y-N-A-S-H. -S I'm thinking Arby's. Is anybody Thank ever you. thinking Arby's? Can you shave my face while you're at it? <laughs> it won't get on your side, I promise. Yeah. That was a separate issue. Okay. <laughs> This is a little blue couch. Hi. Different oil. Welcome. Okay. Today's guest, we have <gasps> Gay Rockwell. Woo! Where's your stress coming from? Yeah, what do you need? Um, well, the rain is making me very stressed. And really? I was supposed you don't to like get, the rain? I was supposed to get a poster for a charity auction, and I didn't get here in time because of the rain, because it's always so slow. Oh, man. So I'm a little... Sometimes New York is hard, you guys. guys. Yeah. Does this always happen for you when it rains, or is this just like a one-time... No, I feel like I have like pretty consistently bad luck with rain and travel. Mm. Not like in life, just like on the subway. Like rain oh, plus the subway place. equals mess. Well, I want to actually know what you do in your spare time, especially when you're trying to unwind from the show on your ride home. Yeah. Oh, well, to be fair, if it's a, like a commuting, like back and forth from work, I'm usually like trying to catch up on like emails or like plan. I'm, I'm, I tend to be the planner of every group of people I know. Like yes. my family, <gasps> and, like, my friends. Is that the role you fulfill in your friend and family group? Yeah, the like planner? I'm usually the one that's like, okay, well, we're going to do this, then we have to, I'm yeah. very type A. Like, Crazy antagonizer in his groups. No, I'm also very <laughs> Crazy type A. Crazy the bullet <laughs> I bought an acupuncture today. Uh, <gasps> hey, oh, wait, should we do a plug for our favorite? <laughs> well, what's her name? Oh, same. One, Sabbath. two, three. Sabbath. Sabbath. And she that silver, silver spring wellness and uh, acupuncture and herb. It's like the full name. I feel like you would like it, Kyle. Yeah, but it's the needles. It's I don't know if you're drawing well. Guys, speaking of irrational fears. Sure. Yes. What are yours? Oh wow. Spiders. Spiders. I'm definitely afraid of spiders. Where did that come from? Did you have a bad experience? Oh, no, always. My whole life I've been afraid of them ever since I was little and they're the bigger the spider the worse <gasps> the But like also not like small spiders are okay. Like any spider is like a it's level bad. six. Yeah. And it only goes up from there. <laughs> ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, let's, fear, what's your fear? My yeah. fear is of breaking bones. <gasps> I, ooh, I broke I my arm when I was real. three. I know. I broke my arm when I was three. And I have like a visceral reaction whenever I think like, oh my god, that person sounds to break a bone. <gasps> or like I dislocated don't, my don't knee. Don't see Deadpool. Deadpool too. Do not see don't Deadpool see too. Like the sound of fake bones breaking the worst. still kills me. No. Kate, have you broken any bones? Uh, no, actually. I mean, I broke a toe once, but I feel like that doesn't really count because it's like not It's a like a thing. bone. Did it no, hurt? No, I mean, it hurt, yeah. Knock on wood though, I've never broken a bone. Which is funny because I'm really clumsy. So you think by now I would have? But I've Whoa. sprained my same ankle like four times. Good well, times. thank you, Kate, for joining us. Yeah. Thanks for yeah, thanks for sharing your fears. Oh, thanks for sharing your this fears. This is basically like Oprah. I think that's what Little Blue Couch is. Yeah, We're exactly. Just Oprah. If, but if you jump up and down, on Oprah, the couch, this is an open invitation. You it's come on by whenever there. you want. We'll get the camcorder out. Bye. 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 You guys. That's it. It's over! It's done! <gasps> no more vlog! <gasps> no, in all seriousness. Guys, doing this vlog has been super fun. I've really enjoyed, A, it's allowed me to just find out more things about my super awesome cool cast because I just stick a camera in their face all the time. But also now I have these cool memories to look back on when I'm old and gray. And I'll be like, hey, remember that one time we didn't even go on Broadway? Um, but truly, I have been so grateful that people have liked the vlog, that people have watched the vlog, that people mention it at the stage door. It makes me happy that people want to know about our lives beyond just what we do on stage because everybody in this cast is a full, vibrant person with a beautiful, enriching life outside of the theater. And I want you, I'm, I'm hoping you got a sense of everybody's personalities. 
um, and what makes this group of people so cool from this experience because I certainly did. I got to learn more about my cast and that was uh, a wonderful experience for me. So thanks for giving me the camera for eight weeks. Uh, I thought it was a big mistake when you did it, but it turns out I had a great time. I'm really happy you guys followed along. Be the buffalo. Peace out. Love you all.